I'm really excited about the fabric that we're going to use today because I got it a while ago and it's of course one of my favorite colors. It's reptile green scuba lycra. <laughs> so what that means is that the scuba part basically means is that it's a little thicker. This is unfortunately only one way stretch, but you can buy this fabric and it can be four way. This is not. I did sew some garments on the bias and they were okay, but for this project I'm just going to sew it um, along the stretchy side. So this is what it looks like. It's this evil looking snaky boa constrictor looking pattern and I completely love it. It's, it's hot. I don't care. <laughs> and you know, it's very versatile and you know, I just realized something. It goes with this tacky purse that I got at the thrift store. So maybe it's meant to be. So this is what we're using. Like I said, it's a one way stretch lycra scuba fabric and it's got a lot of gold and green and black and I'm super, super, super stoked to be using this. Okay, before we begin, I have to show you the random stuff I found at the thrift store today in my town. It's not just a thrift store, but they're also a domestic violence shelter for teenage girls in abusive relationships. So today, I found this nifty dated 2000s handbag but it's in brand new condition I mean, mint condition never been used it's a reptile print so you can really accessorize this and match it up with a lot of things so that's cool then I found a pattern for a dollar twenty-five, you guys can't beat that. It's extra small to medium. It's nighty gown wear, very sexy, like you know from the '90s, like Twin Peaks stuff. I I don't even know why I said Twin Peaks '90s stuff, but I don't know. That's just what I think of. But I'm not gonna make a nightgown out of this. I'll probably make a maxi dress out of it with some other appropriate material. Dollar twenty-five can't beat it. And then I got these. These are just generic pearlized plastic buttons, but I go through these so much. I have trouble finding them actually. Just very basic pearlized plastic buttons. And two bucks. These I'm excited about. These were $2.25, but they're big, bulky, Lucite vintage pearlized buttons. And if you know anything about Lucite anything, you should really be on it. I mean, anything Lucite vintage, Lucite shoes, Lucite handbags, Lucite jewelry like bangles and earrings are going for insane prices now because. They're having a revival, so when I got my hands on these for $2.25, I was pretty stoked because I've looked on eBay for things like this, and they'll sell like four for $8, so I scored today. Wait, there's more. This. Look at that. It's like a shimmery, um, striped, dusty pink color fabric. It's over four yards and it was 11 bucks, which was a little steep, especially considering it's coming from a thrift store, but also considering that they're a nonprofit that help abused teenage girls and women, you know, I don't feel so bad about, you know, 11 bucks. Plus it's over four yards and it's very shimmery. So maybe I'll make this with this, I don't know. That might be really cool. We'll see. 
Wait, there's more. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this super 70s, like yellow, brown, and beige cotton fabric. $5.50 for two yards. Ah. Like I said, I'm helping a domestic violence shelter, so I can't be, you know, too upset about the price at all. So we'll figure out something to do with that, but I just had to, I had to brag about this thrift store haul today that I did randomly with my partner. Found some really good stuff. All right, so we'll move on now to making my skanky little two-piece outfit. Hey everyone, so I'm gonna show you my bodice piece. So this is gonna be the front of my the front of my bodice. So what I'm gonna do is bring this down. And I'm gonna match my seams here and here. And I'm gonna sew, and I'm gonna sew. And then I'm gonna turn this inside out. And then I'll have a cow neckline that looks like this. So that's my front. And this is from this exact pattern. And I linked the video in the description so you can see how I made this. It's really easy. It's based off of a basic bodice block. So you just take this, you fold it, you make a snip here, depending on how, how thick your straps are. You make a slit, you sew, turn it inside out, and it's pretty much done. It's really, really easy. So these are my back pieces. So I'll be having a back seam and this is fitted to the back and what I'm going to be doing is just adding the straps in from the back. And then here is my skirt piece. This is my very well used skirt pattern. Um, this line here indicates if I need to bring it in more or more fitted look, but uh, cut this on the fold, or I'll cut two for the two back pieces, which is what I did here. Oops. So this is my skirt front piece. I cut that on the fold and then I have my two back pieces. And then I'm just going to sew those together. And then for my waistband, I wanted this to be really high waisted. So this is my waistband. So I'm just going to be folding this in half and sewing that along the entire uh, waistline of the skirt. And then here, I just uh, cut out a bunch of straps, but these thick ones basically are my shoulder straps. And then I cut out some other various ones just in case. So, yup, everything's already cut out and I've been wanting to do this for a while. So let's get started.
Okay, so I finished the top last night and I sped through it and made multiple mistakes. So all that sewing that you just saw was actually total nonsense. Just a total disaster. I love documenting my screw ups. I mean, makes me more human, right? So the cow neck, you know, it it's constructed fine. Okay, so this is the front and here's the back. It's got like a drop back a little bit, it's lower. And I hemmed everything up, I got the straps. So then when I put it on, what happened was this cow neck was very boxy and bunched up. Like it doesn't, it doesn't droop. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is two layers of scuba lycra, which is really thick. So it's just too thick to make that nice cow neck effect. So I don't know what to do. Well, I stayed up for like three hours last night half awake thinking about what I could do so here's the um the cow neck on the front with this double fabric folded over so what I think I'm gonna do is just get some tailoring chalk and indicate the center front line and draw a line down here and then maybe get some elastic and then make it bunch up like this this is going to be one of those things where I don't know if this will work or I'm just going to have to like scratch this and just do something else. So we'll see. So we'll try this elastic, see what happens. Okay, so look what I just found. This is a spool of fold over elastic that I found and I was using this to make lingerie and underwear and stuff like that. You can line shirts with it. Um, so it's got a shimmery side and a non shimmery side. So this is what I'm going to use on the top I messed up. It's soft. So since it's going to go in the front, you know, you don't want to use some like regular elastic because that might be itchy. It's a moment of truth. Gosh. All right. So we're going to put this on a zigzag stitch. make my lock stitch and then um, I'm gonna oh boy I mean you just kind of have to go for it sometimes dude let's do it Okay, well, it did do what I thought it would do. It kind of made that like, you know, scrunched effect. And there's the elastic. Um, <laughs> I mean, it looks okay looking at it here on the table, but you know, I need to put it on and see what it really looks like. And if I need to scrunch it up more, you know, I can just take that stitch out and then redo it. But, I don't know, let's see. This is either like one of those things where you mess something up 
fix it and it's great or you just totally messed it up and then I throw this in the trash. So let's see what happens when I try this on, if it even looks decent. Okay, so this is my really skinny mannequin. You can buy these on eBay for like 40 to $60. And she's a size zero zero. So I pinned the back because it's way too big for her, but my elastic trick worked. Sorry, it worked. I promise we're almost done with this project, I promise. This is the skirt. I finally put it all together and sewed it up. So here is the front. Here is the back with the back seam. So what I'm going to do is put the waistband on. This is going to be a high-waisted skirt. So I have this waistband cut out and what I'm going to do is just fold it in half. And then I'm going to grab the waistline of my skirt where the back seam is right here. And all I'm going to do oops, is I'm going to take my folded raw edge and leave like a half inch to an inch away from the back seam line. And then I'm just going to keep this folded and I'm gonna sew along the edge all the way around. So let me show that to you guys again. Okay, here's my skirt. Here's my back seam. This is my waistband. All I do is I fold it in half. And I'm just going to sew those three layers together all the way along the waistline. 